Now we're going to look at a very important technique in electric guitar playing or rock guitar playing, and that is bends, bending the string. This is very popular, and you've probably heard this a thousand times in various songs. And um, bending requires a little bit of hand strength, and there are a few variables here. Some, some of them um, depend on the types of strings you're using. In other words, how thick or thin the strings are you're using. Generally speaking, it's a little trickier or requires a little more strength to bend thicker strings. So that's something to consider as you're learning this. Also, the type of guitar you're using, if you're playing on an acoustic guitar, because of the string tension, it's going to be a little tougher to bend on the strings. You're mainly going to be able to bend comfortably what's called a minor second, just a half step, one fret higher, like this. Oops, how to turn the guitar on. So just consider that as you're playing. So the first thing we're going to look at, let's go to the seventh fret of the third string. This is the note D. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the third fret. And we're going to take the third finger here at the tip of the third finger and place that on that note D. Then we're going to back it up with the first finger on the fifth fret and the second finger on the third fret. This will give a little bit extra strength. And what we're going to do is bend from that note D to the note D sharp. And just what you're going to you need to do, and this is, depends on each person's particular hand and the, the size of the guitar neck you're using and the width of the guitar neck, etc. You're going to have to find a comfortable place for your thumb. Many players bring their thumb around and create a kind of fulcrum here with their hand. That's that's certainly acceptable. Some people also like to bring the thumb lower and use it to push off and brace. But that's really up to you and what you're most comfortable with and the size of your hand and all of those other factors that I just mentioned. So, but in general, let's let's bring our thumb up a little bit and try this and play that note D, and then you're going to try to reach that note D sharp and just gradually push the string up pushing in on the guitar neck and up now move everything up one fret so your first finger will be on the sixth fret of the third string then second on the seventh third on the eighth here, and you're going to go from that D sharp to an E. And then slide everything up one more fret. Now you're on the E here, still with the third three fingers, and you'll bend up from the E to the F. slide everything up. So now you're on the 8th fret with your index finger. One, two, three. Down. We're going to go from that note F to the F sharp. Okay. Then you have, you anticipate that one. We're going to go one fret. Now we're on the ninth fret. Three fingers down. Bend from that F sharp to the G. Now let's move everything up to the 10th fret, and we're going to bend from this G to the G sharp. And you can continue that exercise, so just go up. And try it with each string. So go from, at the very least, try it with the top four strings, D. G, B, and E. It's not as common in rock music to bend the fifth string and the sixth string on guitar. It's more of an effect that's that's not used in a lot of songs or licks, but it is sometimes though. So, but let's go back second string, bend up here. So you can try that exercise 
on the second string, same thing on the, the first string. Okay? And take some time, practice that on your own over the next week or two, and you'll get the ideas for the bends on the guitar. So the, uh, the next thing you're going to want to do once you get that down is try to bend a whole step. This is two frets apart. So if we're, we go back to the fifth fret, third string, with our index finger, one, two, three, and set up on this note D right here. We're going to want to bend to the E. So you're going to bend pretty far for this guy. You're going to go from D to E. So let's try that same exercise, just go one fret higher and bend the whole step. So. string bending.